Hi, this is Chris at the Stogie Palace with the Rocky Patel Platinum. This is a five and a half by 50 Robusto. Bought it at Smoke, actually didn't buy it, I got it for free. It's Smoker Friendly in Thornton, Colorado as part of a Rocky Patel event. Uh, they're usually over $9 at Cigars International. This has been resting for about a month. Not that it needed it, because it came right out of a cigar store. So let's light this thing up and see how it goes. On the cold draw, before I lit it, I sensed anise. Like from, uh, if you're familiar with biscotti, it's basically an anise cookie with chocolate on it. And uh, the anise part is what I was really getting uh, on the cold draw. Uh, as you can see, lights real easily, draws real easily. From Cigars International, they say the wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro, which is this nice, really dark wrapper. Although I noticed that little nick on the wrapper. Binder San Andreas from Mexico, which is one of my favorite. And filler is Nicaraguan long fillers. Tons of thick smoke. From Cigars International, it says this box press handmade is medium to full bodied with enticing flavors such as vanilla, sweet spice, and black pepper that develop to include leather, wood, earth, and coffee. The experience remains impossibly smooth with an even burn from first light to nub. Get platinum and you'll never look back. So. Getting into the second third of this Rocky Patel platinum and uh, there was a shift, not so much a big shift in flavor, I mean the pepper came off, there was strong pepper in the front and then it uh, tapered off right away and it's pretty smooth. Not as much smoke output in the second third. Very smooth flavors and um, it's nice, what can I say? I want to give a shout out to uh, Rocky Patel, not just because he makes great cigars, but he put he fights uh, for cigar smokers and cigar rights, and uh, I appreciate that. That alone makes me want to buy more of his cigars and follow more of what he does, and um, same thing with all the other manufacturers that do that. Nick Perdomo, for instance, former air traffic controller like myself. So keep going on this uh, platinum. And uh, we'll see where it goes. Getting down to the band point here, it did go out. It shouldn't have gone out. I mean, I was messing around with the camera and all that stuff, but it did go out. Um, now I use my handy dandy corn cob holder to scrape out all the old ash in there, tapped it out, getting all the, the burnt stuff out of there, relit it, and uh, picked up right where it left off. Lots of smoke. Still really good flavor. This is a winner. Past the band point here and uh, it's going well. I It went out again, but that this time it was completely my fault. Um, I'm making food, barbecue, stuff like that. But once again, used the old corn cob uh, tool, scraped it out, relit it, right back to where I was. That's good. Happy with that. Um, I guess if it stayed lit on its own by itself there, I would have just kept burning and shortened the whole experience for me personally, but it worked out well. Still getting really good flavors. This one's going to score high. I'm going to wrap this one up here. This has been the Rocky Patel Platinum in Toro. Real nice cigar. Um, I'm scoring it at a 96, which puts it right up there at the top near... Uh, the Florida Les Antillas, which was slightly higher, and um, a Tarano, a Drew Estate, and a La Gloria Cubana. But other than that, it's right near the top. It actually scored higher than the Rocky Patel uh, Royale, which I really liked. It went out a couple times, my own fault, um, but relit nicely, flavors nicely, uh, came back nicely. The smoke output came right back. Busy doing other things, so easy, no problem putting down. Still plenty of smoke, so thanks for watching. This has been Chris at the Stogie Palace. See you on the next video.